We're going to leave that there and we're going to head back to Dublin where, as you can see, Mary Lou Macdonald, the president of Sinn Féin and the leader of the opposition in the Doyle in the Irish Parliament, is about to speak in response okay. to the Taoiseach calling election for November the 29th. Let's have a listen. All right, so uh, in this election, there is a clear choice. Another Fine Gael or Fianna Fáil government or a new government for working people, for families, for communities, a government led by Sinn Féin. This is the first general election in which there is a real choice and a real chance to change the government, to return a government led by Sinn Féin. After a century of Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil, it is now time to make that change, to give Sinn Féin the chance to lead and the chance to deliver. So we're asking people to vote for Sinn Féin to change the government. We're running in this election to win. If Sinn Féin wins, you win. Your family wins, your future wins. In Sinn Féin, you will get a government that will move heaven and earth to make housing affordable, to bring home ownership back into the reach of working people and to restore hope for a generation. A government that will transform our health services, deliver affordable childcare at 10 euros a day, scrap the USC for the average worker, abolish the means test for our amazing carers, invest with ambition and purpose in our communities, advance the preparations for Irish unity. We are prepared and we are ready. We have the policies, we have the team. Those that have held reins of power for a century think that this election is a foregone conclusion, that they will have it all their own way again and simply walk back into government buildings. But the Irish people will have something to say about that because the need for change has never been more urgent. We simply cannot afford another five years of failed government. So people have a choice. People can vote to change the government by voting for Sinn Féin and then opening up the possibility and chance to put things right. So we face into this campaign with spirit, with confidence and with a clear message. After 100 years of Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael led governments, vote Sinn Féin to change the government. Therese Cade Blain, the realtors we smocked, Eg Fianna Fáil, Gus Fine Gael, Todesh in den to ogging on realtors a Ahru. Tho Sinn Féin Eg Dulson omiocht kun bua a winch a mock. Kun realtors a stura er son Ibrahe, er son Chowley, Agus er son or bubble. Realtors we stura Eg Sinn Féin. Sha, sha an aum. Shulling on desh realtors nua a all done kush wincher. Topiamish on desh sha lakela. So this is the people's moment. The moment where you can make change happen. On November the 29th, we ask people to vote to change the government. Vote all Sinn Féin. Mary Lou, obviously you're looking, you're looking obviously for Sinn Féin to do anything. You're not going to have enough TDs or candidates running for an overall majority. So who would be your preferred partner? Do you so we, uh, we have 71 candidates selected uh, so far. Uh, we are running the biggest field of candidates uh, in a century that Sinn Féin has, has run. Um, and we are very, very serious about winning this election campaign. We are serious about leading the next uh, government. Uh, obviously, the people ultimately will decide the balance of forces in the next all. But our ambition is for a new government, a government for the first time in a century that has neither Fine Gael nor Fianna Fáil. And we are running enough candidates for that to be a real option and a real choice for the Irish people to make. Well, look, justice has been served, uh, and I want to... Uh, first of all, my thoughts are with the victims, um, and I, I voice appreciation to the system 
uh, of justice that has brought McGonagall uh, to book, and he will now be behind bars. Can you tell us these scandals damage Sinn Féin, Marianne? Sinn Féin is strong, facing into this campaign with spirit, with determination. This is the election campaign of a generation or even of a lifetime. It's an election in which, for the first time, uh, Irish people, for the first time, Irish people, for the first time, Irish people have a choice to return a government that is not led by either Fianna Fáil or Fine Gael. And Sinn Féin is fighting fit. We are good to go. We have the policies, we have the team, we have the determination. What we need now is the chance to make that government uh, a reality. Paul. Well, listen, they have a record of, uh, what, almost five years, well, more, eight years together, 14 years of Fine Gael, uh, government, which shows demonstrably uh, that they can't run the country well in the interests of ordinary working people. There are 14,500 homeless people, 4,500 children now, with Christmas coming, will worry as to whether or not Santa will find where they live. That's their record, and I think they are not best placed uh, to question anybody else's ability to uh, run anything. I believe that I have demonstrated time and again as uh, a leader uh, my uh, spirit of uh, being resolute and resilient and very, very connected with the real experiences of families, of workers, of communities right across the state. Uh, and I vow as the leader of Sinn Féin, as somebody who wishes to lead uh, the next government, that I will always act in the best interests of the many and not the few, uh, and that our housing plans, our health plans, our plan on childcare, our plans to invest heavily in communities, that we will be as good as our word. And if given the chance, if people vote to change the government and vote for Sinn Féin, and if we have the chance at government, we will show, we will demonstrate what it looks like, what it feels like to live in a country where government is on your side and where government's first priority is ordinary communities, families and working people because we've never had a government like that before. Mary Lou, are you concerned that these that these scandals and controversies are going to follow you around the election campaign? Do you think Mary I I am um, we entered this uh, this campaign with as I say spirit and determination. Uh, I'm full of energy. Uh, I'm full of a, a sense of of what is possible. Um, and now we want to go out beyond doorsteps, talking to people, engaging uh, with communities, setting out uh, our plans. Uh, and I think people have uh, a real sense this time round that Sinn Féin is very, very prepared. I mean, they've heard the, the ha plan for housing championed by Owen O'Brien, childcare by uh, Claire Cran, healthcare by uh, David uh, Cullinan. Uh, and they know that we have, I would say, uh, the strongest team uh, in the field, uh, and I think that really matters to people. So we're we're full of. I lead, I lead a team of the best of the best people of calibre, of character and of integrity. And we, I present myself as a person of character, grit and integrity and equally uh, our team, all of them, Philip, yes. There are no complaints and in, indeed there aren't. Um, no, I, I don't engage in inappropriate behaviour, Philip. Well, I, I don't know who you're directing that at. Next question. How many seats do you think Sean? Sinn Féin needs to win in order for that sort of a left-wing government to be a viable option? Say that again, sir. How many seats does Sinn Féin need to win to provide the bulk of a left-wing government, to make it a national reality, to make the numbers stand? Yeah, well, look, uh, we're, we're running um, a, a record number of candidates. Our, our objective, Sean, is to get all of them elected. The ideal scenario is that those that you field uh, are uh, elected. Uh, obviously, for, uh, for the new government uh, to emerge, we need people to cast their vote for, explicitly for that change um, in government. So we're...
We will leave uh, Mary Lou Macdonald there as she's uh, answering questions uh, in Dublin after the calling of that general election in Ireland for the 29th of November. Certainly confident, optimistic leader of Sinn Féin. They currently are the second biggest party in the Doyle, the lower house of the Irish Parliament, with 33 seats, or at least they were until it was uh, dissolved just uh, a matter of hours ago. But it's the coalition that's been run by Fianna Foyle, Fianna Gael and the Greens that they are going after. Interesting that Mary Lou Macdonald said they have 71 candidates selected so far. There are a total of uh, 160 seats in the Doyle to go for. Uh, and she said that Sinn Féin presents, uh, well, this presents the electorate the chance of a lifetime, uh, she said it, to make a real choice. Uh, to return a government led by Sinn Féin. And a couple of the policy ideas she pointed to was uh, making housing more affordable, uh, providing childcare costing uh, less than €10 Euros a day. Uh, and, of course, as anybody familiar with Sinn Féin's involvement in Northern Irish politics will know, she talked of the advance for preparations for Irish unity. So that is Mary Lou Macdonald there, just finishing off her press conference in Dublin uh, hoping to be the first ever woman to become the Taoiseach uh, in the Republic of Ireland after that election that's been called for the 29th of November.